Hey guys, Dr. Brown here, and tonight we have a third grade take the challenge multiplication problem. Don't let your hair catch on fire, okay? Because you guys have learned now how to multiply double digit numbers. So just use that thought process to solve this. We have B3A1, so it's some number, B3A1 times B4. And our job with this, our challenge, is to solve for A and B. Whoa, what to do? Well, I like to walk through the multiplication process that I would normally do. For example, 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times A is 0. Now, what do we know? Well, if we look at multiples of 4, 4 times 0 is 0. So it could be that A is 0. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4, and you'll notice I'm just putting a dot for the multiplication. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5, oh, 20. So if I'm, I have a 0, but if I wrote a 0 down there, I would be carrying a 2. So let me keep going. 4 times 3 is 12. Oh, oh, oh. see how just walking through this works? I need a remainder from 4 times A equals this 0. I need a remainder that's 2, so that 4 times 3 is 12 plus my remainder of 2 would equal the 4. So I think... B, uh, A is 5. Now, we can, we can continue on because down here I have an A also. So, you know, in this case where we've multiplied through all the numbers, for example, B time 1 is B, B time A is 0, B time 3 is 7. Hmm. B time B is 4. Okay. But 4 is A4? What do you think? 4 times 4 is 16. So A is not 4. Now, if we just go through the adding process, 4 plus 0 is 4. 0 plus B is B. 4 plus 0 is 4, 7, so, so there's no carry is, is my point. No remainder or no other number I'm having to say, well, I need to carry the 2 or the 3. So 4 plus 0 is 4, no remainder coming over. 9 plus 7 is 16. I have a remainder of 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. So this confirms our thinking earlier that it may be that A is 5. So let me just write a 5 in here. Matter of fact, uh, I'm going to, well, for now I'll leave it like that. I started to replace the A, but I think I'll wait. Okay, 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 2, 4 times 3 is 12 plus the 2 is 14. 4 times B is 9. Whoa. 4 times B is 9. B times 1 is B. 4 times B is 9. Four times B is nine. So let me erase these, these remainders. Four times one is four. Four times five is 20. Carry the two. 
4 times 3 is 12, 12, plus 2 is 14. So I have a remainder of 1. 4 times B plus 1 is 9. Oh, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So it seems to be, I need to erase that reminder, that B is 2. Well, let's see how that would work if B is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, that works out. 2 times B times 1 would be B, so B is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. That works out. And then 2 times 2 is 4. Great. So let's replace the B, put it with a 2. Everywhere there's a B, we're going to put a 2. So this is a good exercise in just understanding how to utilize. And A is 5. Just logically walk through. the process of multiplication. And, and don't close your eyes when you see that difficult problem or something you think is difficult. Break it down into the pieces you know. All right, let's try this. Four times one is four. Four times five is 20. Carry the two. Okay, two times three is six. Sorry. Four times one is four. Four times five is 20. 4 times 3 is 12 with the 2 would give me the 14. 14, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. See, we all can mess up. I mess up from time to time. Okay, now let's go to the next row. What do we have to do first? Put a zero here before you do anything else, Christine. Put a zero here and then... You're, because you're multiplying the number that's in the tens digit now, so that's where you need to start is in the tens digit. Okay, so 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus the 1 is 7. 2 times 2 is 4. So all that's worked out so far now. 4 plus 0 is 4. 0 plus 2 is 2. 4 plus 0 is 4. 9 plus 7 is 16. Carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. So in this case, A equals 5. B equals 2. And that was the solution we're looking for. Okay, keep working those difficult problems for third grade. This is a good challenge for your mind, okay? Study, 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 because together we're trying to build a better tomorrow and do that through math. That's all for now. Talk to you next time. Thanks.